and welcome back to my makeup room. So today I have an exciting makeup revolution haul for you. They have recently dropped quite a bit of new items and I've gone ahead and purchased them and I'm super excited to show you what I got. I'm really, really excited about make what um, Makeup Revolution is launching recently and I do think they're also releasing like a Simpsons collection here really soon. So I'm super excited about that as well. But I'm going to kind of show you here what I picked up. And then in another haul, in another video, I'm going to show you the Corpse Bride collection because I went ahead and I purchased that as well. But for now, we're going to go with the items that are not a part of the Corpse Bride. So the first one here is from I Heart Revolution. And it's their Tasty Pumpkin Spice Latte Lip Mask and Lip Scrub. I love their packaging here here. I love the little pumpkins on it. Um, and it, it, the little guys in here are even cuter. Like, do you see that? This is the first time that I have gotten a lip scrub or a lip balm from them. So this one here is the lip mask, which is orange. It smells like latte-like. I wouldn't say pumpkin, but I wouldn't really say coffee, but do you see that, guys? I love this packaging. There's 20 ml, so you have so much in here, you're never going to go through that. And then this one here is the lip scrub. It looks more like a pumpkin. Yeah, and to me, it smells more like coffee than anything, than pumpkin. So this one looks good. It doesn't look like it's too big of granules. It's orange as well. So I think this will be an awesome, awesome lip scrub. So I will definitely be using these two together. Also, I Heart Revolution came out with their a pomade. So this is a brown pomade made with cocoa seed butter. And there is an applicator in here to use, um, to apply it. So this is what this little guy looks like. This is plastic. You have the lid that pops up here and you got this little guy. Um, I don't know who would use this to do their eyebrows. I mean, I can barely fit it in my hands, let alone try to use that for my eyebrows. But I got the shade Salted Caramel and that's what that looks like. I have not used a brow pomade and I don't know how long. So I'm really... Um, Glad that I was able to pick this up. I'm definitely going to try this soon. Um, I don't know how it's going to look because, again, I have not used the brow pomade in years. I'm more of an eyebrow pencil kind of girl. And then I picked up the I Heart Revolution Chocolate Dipped Mascara with Cocoa Extract. That's what this one looks like. I don't think this is the newest one. I think they have a dark chocolate dipped one. I think that is newer it's like in a brown packaging um i did not pick that one up i totally you know missed it didn't even see it on the website uh, i'm not going to open this one because i just recently opened this um blowout high volume waterproof mascara from makeup revolution this is part of their new extended chill collection I'll show you the wand on this in case you missed that video. Definitely go check it out because this collection here was um, leaked and released early and um, I was able to pick it up before they took it down. So then check these gorgeous palettes out for Halloween. These are more of their Forever Flawless ones. So this one's in Deadly Desire. The imagery on this is gorgeous. I love the roses. Um, I know they had a black um, lipstick as well and I just didn't buy it. I'm not going to wear a black lipstick so I wasn't going to buy it just to to buy it. That's what this looks like. So you have gorgeous skull indentations on the mattes and then the rest are shimmers and you do have um, pressed pigments in there as well just so you know because those are not eye safe so this is a gorgeous warm tone eyeshadow palette so i'm excited about this one i'm definitely becoming that person that collects every single one of the flawless palettes anything make religion that comes out and then guys they came out with this one as well and this is called into the night 
the sticker is on the back of course I'll be putting that on my palette and this one is my favorite the packaging of the other one is my favorite but the color story of this one is my favorite look at this guys that is a cool tone lovers dream you have bats in your matte shades um you got this one here that's a little chunkier let's see yeah it feels a little more like a topper and then you got other ones like you can see it's just more shimmery more of a topper you have like pinks purples this is definitely a very cool tone um, eyeshadow palette you got um, brow bone shades. I love me gold eyeshadows or not gold but gray eyeshadows. I love a good gray smoky eye so I'm so excited. You have a nice matte black here. I think this one is going to be amazing and I think this one here is going to be my favorite palette. There's that. Also they had from I Heart Revolution they had a new like chocolate bar palette. So this one here is Coca, Coca, Coca. Coca. It's not Coca. Coco. Coco. Why was I saying Coca? But this one is different because it is in a tin, so it kind of is a thicker tin. There are pressed pigments in this one. That is what the back looks like. So the when you lift this up, it's not as tightly held together like these forever flawless ones. I mean, you kind of have to like you know they snap in there's nothing I mean you just I mean not that that's super important I just thought I'd let you know so that's what this one looks like so this is definitely another warm tone eyeshadow you can get a gorgeous sunset eye with here you got your yellows oranges pinks golds let me swatch a couple shadows to me um, they feel really nice We'll have to see how they are um, on the eye. But right now, they feel super creamy. We've got a matte here and two shimmers. I mean, to me, I feel like they're swatching really good, especially that gold shade. That is super pretty. So I don't know here with this 10 thing if this is something they just released for Christmas time. Are they going to make all their palettes like this from now on? Um, I don't know, but I really kind of like the um, the tin packaging that you're um, they're doing. It's very lightweight, not super weighted or anything, but I really like it that they changed things up. Okay, and then lastly, things that are, you know, we were just talking about how that palette wasn't very weighted. So this was by Makeup uh, Revolution. It's the Revolution Pro. It's their Ultra Slim 1.2 millimeter brow pencil. That's what this looks like. Um, this was new on the website as well. I did get the shade Soft Brown. And I had just taken it out not too long ago to look at that. And do you see this? Like this thing could be a paperweight. Like this is super weighted and gorgeous. Like I am super impressed by this packaging. So you have Spoolie here. And then you have your eyebrow pencil over here, and it's definitely that super thin um, point that everyone likes, you know, to do their eyebrows. And that's kind of what the shade looks there. I think that'll be perfect in my eyebrows, but I love how weighted this is. Like, this feels so luxurious, so I definitely think you guys should check this out. I have a couple other things. I thought this was it. So this I did not purchase off Makeup Revolution. I did buy this off Macari, but I saw someone had their We Are Love, their Pride palette on sale there for super cheap. Um, I didn't have this one. So I'm like, okay, this is the perfect time to get that. And do you see the color story in this? You have any color that you, you know, you could ever want. This here is a darker, like, purple. I mean, you don't have a black, but you can always pull a black out of another palette. But this is so pretty. There's definitely, you know, a good array of mattes, good array of shimmers. Um, 
I think this is going to be an amazing eyeshadow palette. I don't think this is available anymore. Um, but, but again, always check things like Depop, Macari, Poshmark, stuff like that. If you're looking for items like this, you know, that are no longer available, you know, someone's probably selling them sometimes for a reasonable price. Sometimes it's like super overpriced. And then I also got this one here. So this is their pride one. So this is the Spirit of Pride palette. Um, it's not one of their Forever Flawless ones. These also do have pressed pigments, and I didn't realize that there was going to be three pressed glitters. Pressed glitter, pressed glitter, pressed glitter, pressed glitter. So there's four pressed glitters, and then their rest are shimmer. So there are no mattes in here, but these feel so creamy like they're that thicker makeup revolution formula that i'm obsessed with i mean look at that guys isn't that gorgeous let me swatch a glitter to kind of see how the glitters are i mean that looks pretty good you know there's a lot of base to it you know so you're actually getting a glitter that is pretty. So definitely, definitely check out Poshmark. Definitely check out Macari, Depop, things like that. You can find awesome, amazing things from any kind of brand, you know, that mo may no longer be making their products. Um, people will sell them. I was buying, um, not too long ago, all sorts of limited edition MAC makeup, you know, the super with this super amazing packaging, like I was able to pick up Stereo Rose and stuff like that for a super crazy amazing price. So definitely, definitely if you're looking for a palette that is no longer available, check those sites out and you'll be surprised at what you find. So today guys, that is it for my haul. I think my next video that I'm going to film for you is going to be the Corpse Bride Collection. I'll give you a little sneak peek of one of the palettes. Isn't that gorgeous? gorgeous butterfly there's that so make sure that you subscribe you know so you'll be able to see this next video please give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video bye